Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 8 through 10. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 12, 1973, in London, England. Our strength is immeasurable, and we are perfectly protected by Grandfather Bhishma, whereas the strength of the Pandavas, carefully protected by Bhima, is limited. So, Duryodhan is very proud of his strength, military strength, uh, because he was in power, he could gather, and over and above that, Bhishma is the commander-in-chief. He is giving protection. And on the other side, the Pandavas, they were not in power, somehow or other, they gathered some soldiers uh, <coughs> from relatives. Therefore, their strength was limited in consideration of the other party. And that is being protected by Bhima. Uh, Duryodhana always considered Bhima as a fool. Therefore, he is very much confident that our side is being protected by Bhishma. The other side, although Bhima is very strong, but he has no brain very much. So, he was very hopeful of victory. <coughs> but in the previous verse, he says, Annecha bahava sura madathe takta jivita. Takta jivita means they have come to lay down their life for me. This is a foretelling. Because actually, whoever joined the battlefield of Kurukshetra, None of them return. Sapta Jivita. So it is already concluded that although uh, Dujadhan is very much proud of his military strength, protected by Bhishma, still Sapta hmm, Jivita, they would surely die. This is the conclusion. Nana sasta patarana sarvi juddha visharana. No, not a single person in experience was there. Juddha visharana. Visharana means very expert fighting. Still they would have to lay down their life because it is Krishna's plan that all these uh, fighting men. They were not uh, ruling properly according to the tenets of Vedic injunction. Therefore they are demons. Military strength for self-aggrandizement is demonic. Military strength is required to rule over the kingdom but not to misuse them for aggression to other's country or other's kingdom. That was not allowed. <coughs> so when Krishna appeared, there were many kings, although they were under the uh, ruling of the Pandavas, still Hastinapu, still they were fighting. That is natural. If one has no Krishna consciousness, then his strength and opulence would be misused. And if one is 
Krishna conscious, then he would use his strength and opulence very properly. So these kings were meant for giving protection to the citizen, to train them to the Vedic conception of life. But they were not doing that. Therefore, they were demons. Although they are Kshatriyas, still Kshatriyas are meant for representing the Supreme Personality of God. Actually, Krishna is the proprietor. Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. Sridham Sarva Bhutana. Gyakta Maam Shanti Nichit. So, he is the proprietor. Sarva Loka. Sarva Loka means all the planets, all the universes. Because they are created by Krishna, by Krishna's bodily effulgence, Brahma Jyoti. So they are created by Krishna's, just like from the sun sign, these planets are created. Similarly, from Brahma Jyoti, innumerable universes are created. Jasya prabha prabhavatu jagadanda koti. Kotishu asesha vasudhādi vibhūti bhinnam tad brahma niskalam anantam asesha bhūtam govindam ādi purisam tamaham vajā. So, it is all creation of Krishna. Aham sarvasya prabhava matta sarvam pravartya. Everything has come out from uh, Krishna's body, external. Uh, therefore, he is the proprietor. Uh, if I have created something, then I am the proprietor. It is very easy to understand. Uh, the Vedas also is saying, Eko Narayana Asit, before the creation, only there was Narayana. In the Chatushraki Bhagavat also, it is said, Ahameva Asam Agri. So before creation, there was Krishna. When we speak of Krishna, it does not mean Krishna was alone. Krishna means uh, with his uh, form, with his pastime, with his paraphernalia, with his entourage, everything. When we speak of king, it does not mean king is alone. As soon as we speak of king, we must understand the king, king's kingdom, king's secretaries, king's ministers, king's queen, king's palace, so many things. Similarly, when the Vedas says, that Eko-Narayana uh, Asi, before creation there was only Narayan. Uh, so Narayan with his paraphernalia, with his expansion. Narayan has expansion in the spiritual world, Vaikuntha Java. Innumerable Vaikuntha planets. You have seen the picture. Innumerable. Uh, we have given only twenty-four names. But they are an innumerable. So actually, either in this material world or in the spiritual world, all planets, Vaikuntha planets, or Kuntha planets, here in this material world, Kuntha planets. Kuntha means anxiety. Here, in any planet you go, the anxiety will be there. This is material. Sadas Mudvigna Dhyam Asad Graha. Why anxiety? Because we have accepted something, asat, which will not stay. But we are eternal, we want to stay. Our natural position is eternity. 
So you don't want this temporary body. Therefore we try to save the body as much as possible. But it will not be saved because we have accepted something nonsense which is not compatible with our existence. The modern civilization, they do not know it. Uh, they think it that death is natural sequence. It cannot be avoided. No, it can be avoided. It can be avoided. But these rascals, they do not know how to avoid it. Although it is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, how you can avoid death. Uh, birth, death, old age and disease, these are the problems. But they do not know how to solve these problems. They are simply engaged in some temporary business. Uh, and they are fighting, they are making plans, uh, they are making diplomacy, uh, hurry. But the real problem they do not touch. Neither they know how to solve it. Uh, but this Krishna consciousness movement can solve it. Uh, these rascal may understand this fact that this Krishna consciousness movement is not a sentiment, so-called religious movement. It is scientific movement to solve all the problems of life. This is Krishna consciousness. So in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Takta dehang punat janma naiti mamiti. Punat janma naiti. If you can avoid next birth, next birth means to accept another material body. Tatha dehantram prapti. Tatha dehantram prapti. After giving up this body, you have to accept another body. These askers, they do not understand. So many defects in the modern civilization, full of ignorance, and still they are passing as great scientists, great philosophers, great politicians. Real knowledge they haven't got. So try to give them real knowledge. Tathadehantaram prati. This is the crucial point. Dehantaram prati. One has to accept another body. So if you can find out a means so that you do not accept another body, then you are safe. Because as soon as you accept another body, janma, birth, then where there is janma, there is mrittu, death also. And between janma and mrittu, Birth and death, there is disease and old age. So Krishna says that takta de hang punar janmanai. One can avoid accepting another material body. How? Janma karma medibam ju janati tattva. Simply try to understand Krishna. What is Krishna? Why Krishna appears? Why Krishna takes part in politics? Why Krishna? So many Krishna's activities. So this is our Krishna consciousness movement means try to understand Krishna. But simply if you try to understand, you cannot understand Krishna fully. That is not possible. Krishna is unlimited. But to our limited knowledge, Whatever is possible, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. As far as we can understand about Krishna, if we simply understand Krishna, his transcendental nature, his transcendental activities, dibbam, janma karma me dibbam. Dibbam means transcendental. It is not ordinary. Tattata, in truth, in fact, then you become free from this janma mitu jarabhari. Very easy thing. Uh, therefore, uh, try to understand Krishna. Uh, how you will understand Krishna? Krishna is so 
great. Sevana mukhe hi jivubhado sami vaspuratada. Atas si Krishna namadi navavid grayam indriyai. You cannot understand Krishna by these bland material senses. That is not possible. You have to purify it. You have to purify it. Tat paratena nirmalam. Simply by Krishna consciousness, always thinking of Krishna, all your senses will be purified. This is the problem. Sivana Mukhi Hiju Bhagu. And you can begin service with your tongue. Now this is also very surprising. By utilizing our tongue, we can become perfect. This is also unknown to the modern science. By utilizing the tongue, one can become perfect. Yes, this is the process. If by the tongue you chant Hare Krishna mantra and by the tongue you taste prasadam, you will be perfect. Simply by executing these two things. Do not accept anything. Do not allow the tongue to touch anything which is not offered to Krishna. This is one item. And another right time, engage the tongue, always chanting Hare Krishna. You become perfect. Is it very difficult task? Anyone can do. Hare Krishna Mahamantra, anyone can chant. And nice prasadam, anyone can take. And actually it is happening so. How these European, American boys and girls, they are advancing, they are realizing. Simply by that process, tongue, chant Hare Krishna, take prasad. So you can introduce this process all over the world. Give them chance to chant Hare Krishna mantra. But it is difficult also. There was a cartoon that one, one old lady is requesting her husband, chant, 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 and the husband is replying, can't, can't, can't. <laughs> there was a cartoon. So, we are requesting everyone, please chant, and they are replying, can't, still they will not chant. This is the difficulty. Otherwise, we can deliver all the people on this earth back to home, back to God. Simply by this process. Uh, chant and take prasad. Uh, this uh, should be just like the other day. We had the festival, Ratha Yatra. Chant and take prasad. Yes. Organize this all over the world. Uh, they will be saved. Uh, they, they will understand Krishna. Sevan Mukhi Hi Jivadu Swam Krishna will appear. Krishna, you cannot see Krishna. That is not possible. He, you cannot uh, order Krishna, please come and see. No. When he is pleased with your service, he will come. Yes, I am here. See. No. That is the history. Just like Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj uh, was meditating. And within six months he saw Krishna face to face. So everyone can see, everyone will be able, provided we utilize the tongue. Sevan mukhi hi jivhadu. Jivhadu. Jivhadu means beginning with the tongue. We have got senses, all senses, eyes, ears, touch, so many senses. But begin with the sense tongue. Try to control the tongue and engage in Krishna's self. That Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Sarira avidya jal jarendriya tahe kal. This body is a material body and the senses are our greatest enemies. Jarendriya tahe kal. 
तो आउट ऑफ ऑल दी सेंसेस तार मध्य जुभा होती लोभमय सुदूर मत ऑफ ऑल दी सेंसेस द टंग इज फॉर्मिडेबल इट इज सुदूर मत इट हेज नो लिमिट टू टेस्ट आई हेव सीन इन जापान ट्वेंटी माइल्स हैवे दे आर कमिंग टू टेस्ट some fried birds in the hotel in they have got bus the hotel has got their own bus and they bring uh, customers from the city and they are coming after office hours just to taste uh, some uh, jungle birds fried that is a hotel ha huh? maybe what it is you have tasted <laughs> so the tongue is so formidable enemy simply for tasting they will commit so many sinful activities uh, they will commit so many abominable acts and simply for tongue uh, there is a straight line tongue then belly then genita so if you can control the tongue the other things will come therefore tar madhye jubhavati lobhomay sudur mat lobhomay it is very greedy uh, and sudur mat it is very difficult to control this uh, is simply for tang so many slaughter houses are being built uh, have seen those are meat eaters have seen in the earth land is small piece of meat they eat not very much But for this small piece, has so many population, huge quantity of slaughter houses. They cannot give up that small piece of meat. That is the difficulty. Uh, they can make uh, the same thing can be made by milk, milk product, chana. Uh, what do you call curd? Uh, cheese. You prepare cheese and fry it. You will get the same taste, uh, but let the animal live, take its milk, and prepare so many milk preparation. But these rascals will not do. We kill simply for this tongue. Uh, it is so strong this tongue. They cannot give her uh, this. Uh, I mean, it's a formidable tongue. He is demanding. You must give me meat. So they are obliged, uh, and for this. obligation they are committing so much sinful activities have all the level activities and becoming bound up by the laws of nature to accept a body uh, within the 8 million 400000 species of life uh, becoming the worm in the stool they do not know how the material law is working prakriti kriyamanani gunai karmani sarva Prakriti nature is so strong; it is acting very nicely. So you have to become very careful. Uh, that carefulness uh, you cannot do any other way, especially in this age. Simply, if you surrender to Krishna, if you become Krishna conscious, Krishna will take care of you, and he will say, "Thank you."